Are you drowning in cluttered labs or worried about losing your EVNG configuration? Welcome to your one-stop guide to streamline your EVNG lab management. In this video, I'll show you why an organized lab setup, robust backups, and reusable templates are a game changer for any networking professional. Here's a quick rundown on what you'll learn today. Number one, navigating the EVNG web GUI, your central hub for efficient lab management. Number two is creating organizing folders keeping your lab environment tidy. Three is importing labs, quickly incorporate existing or shared labs. Fourth is exporting labs and backups, safeguard and share your work. Five is best practices for lab management, proven tips to stay productive. Sixth, creating reusable templates, save time by reusing configurations in multiple labs. Now, whether you're a newcomer or a seasoned pro, these are steps will help you unlock your full potential of EVNG. Perfect, let's get into our video here last video we created this lab so i'm going to bring that up here and once you have this setup if you don't know how to set up watch the first video that i walk you through how to set up all this now i have the lab so let's log into the lab here if you notice that this is the ip address here that i have so i'm going to use the same 192.168.136.130 and i'm in now, in case it's going to prompt you for password, it's whatever password you set up. If you left that default, it's admin and EVE. Now, this is the login page that you log into. Now, think of the EVNG web GUI as a mission control for your networking labs. With just a few clicks, you can create folders, import labs, export backups, and even build templates to reuse your configuration. So this is really what the main we looks like i'll walk you through on the top what exactly do we have so when you click on main basically this is where you are management gives you if you want to create more users now use case here would be is if you have like a server that you that you're sharing with somebody In that case you might want to have different logins so everybody can have their own username and then have their own labs running but if you're running this on your laptop for your personal then it's really not relevant to you and if you're going to the system, now this is where your system status is, basically talking about CPU usage, memory usage, and all that good stuff. Um, it does have logs in case you want to have some issues uh, and you want to troubleshoot that and you know Google search it from that perspective, it's helpful. Stop all nodes basically stops all the nodes that you're running. Information is obviously more on the EVNG. It talks about EVNG, their forum, um, there's a help for there. And then obviously they have their own YouTube channel. That's pretty much what main GUI looks like at this point. Now, if you also want to go into their documentation, I'll show you a quick, uh, if I go to EVNG documentation, and if you remember in the first video, I talked about the cookbook, we are running the community edition cookbook. I think page 57, if I remember correctly, is where the GUI management is. So next about 15 pages walks you through the same thing that I'm going to show you here. Uh, but if you don't want to read through all that, just watch the video and I'll walk you through everything there. Uh, so the first thing is organizing your labs with folders. Obviously, at one given time, I could be working on multiple things. Let's say if I'm working on my CCN, I'm also working on my Fortinet, for example. Fortinet Professional, I want to create a folder for that and I just click on add folder, it just creates a folder right there. Um, I could have multiple folders if I want. At this point, I could have basic networking, basic networking, mix vendors, where I wanna have mix vendors, I wanna have a Fortinet firewall with a Cisco switch and see how that works. I can use that, that's my uh, mix vendors option. This is how you create a folder, right? Now I can create a lab, I can call it uh, switching basics. Let's say that's my lab that I want to create. I can add more description if I want to. I would just say uh, just VLANs in this case and access ports and trunks is what I want to maybe just do in this one. Uh, I just save that. And now here is where I start adding nodes, right? I can click on some nodes here let's go ahead and add some nodes let's use some cisco here and again if you remember all this we added in the last video so in case you're a little new or lost by all means go back and and check i'm gonna pick up a switch image here again they have some inbuilt so whichever one makes sense to you pick that up 
it's there. And then I can add some VLANs, but before that, I want to start it. So that's just the lab now. Once I've done this, now I can even create multiple switches because let's say I want to have a lab that have two switches. So we'll just go to Cisco here quickly so I can get to it much quicker. Leave that there. Start. And it started. And if I double click, I'm in the switch at this point. Okay. Now, in order to go back to my main menu, what I'll need to do is I can, first of all, if I want, I can stop everything so that all the devices are stopped. And I can close the tab and then back here. I didn't add this to any folder, but let's say I wanted to add this to my CC and stuff. So I can click on move to and I can say which one you want to pick up into. I can say CCNA and it just gets moved there. Now the lab is in there. This is how you would organize your labs and folders, right? How about I have my backup for EVNG so I can create a new folder. I can call it EVE backup labs. This is where I back up all my labs. So I can dump them right here if I want to. Okay, so once I've created the folder, I can back up my lab by exporting that. Once I've created the file, all I need to do is select which one I want to back up. I can click on export and it's going to say keep it. And it creates a zip file. Just remember that. So it's, it's just going to be exporting into a download. So I can just check which folder it dropped it. It's putting into my download. So what I can do if I want is I can just cut it from there and have it dropped. So this could be my where I'm backing up all my labs. Now I can open it up later and that way it's going to be saving my work. Once we've backed up the file, now let's say if I lose this file somehow uh, or I want to have a new setup where I want to move this file, I've deleted it. I can simply import it now, go to that file, open it up and click upload it's going to be there and it's back now. So now I'm able to get it back. So this is simply how I can just import my labs. Now just remember that EVNG supports only .zip uh, for your lab import. Just make sure that when you import your labs, they're going to be in .zip format. You've seen the import labs, you've seen the export lab option. Again, it's pretty straightforward. Nothing very complex there. It makes it very easy. Now when it comes to best practice for lab management, I would say use clear folder names so that you exactly know what these are. All these folder names should be clean up. You should back up regularly. I showed you how to back those up. Verify your imported labs that you have a folder that's been backed up. So all your labs are imported and then consistent naming convention always keeps everything kind of. Now let's talk about how can I reuse the templates? Now see, same thing. If you have a basic lab with some sort of setup of two switches, which has already you know, two or three VLANs defined, I can just save that as a basic switching template. And whenever I want to try something different now, let's say if I want to test for Ether channel or VTP, I can just keep reusing that same lab by importing it. Now, if I'm in C uh, CCNA here, I can just say new lab, and then I can enter a lab's name and then just export that and make that change accordingly. And now once you change that, so this is how you would create a, a template from that perspective right now when we're doing that it's reusable obviously so i'm going to save a lot of time all your configuration are consistent you're saving time and obviously it's ease of sharing if you want to share your lab with somebody so hope this was useful now why does this matter because efficient lab management and reusable template let you focus on what really counts now building your networking skills and if you found this all helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more EVNG and networking tips. So stay organized, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.